Hello everybody, Ranger John Heron here at Huntsville State Park and I've got another Dutch oven recipe for you. Now part of the reason for these programs is to introduce you, especially first timers, to using a Dutch oven. These can seem pretty intimidating but I want to show you a couple of easy recipes you can do. So today I'm going to be doing some chili. Now there are hundreds of recipes out there. There's whole competitions dedicated to who can make the best chili. I'm not necessarily aiming to make the best. What I like doing when I cook is just making it simple and easy to make. And so that's what I'm going to do now. You can adjust any of these ingredients or add or take away anything you like. Uh, you are welcome to it. But yeah, today I'm just going to show you an easy chili recipe for your Dutch oven. Uh, I've got my Dutch oven here. I'll be using a chimney starter to get my charcoal going. Put chimney up top, some paper in the bottom, like that, so it gets it going without using any chemicals or lighter fluid. I got my lid lifter, my lid holder, my gloves. I remembered my tongs for handling charcoal. So I'm going to get the charcoal going and uh, get over to some cooking. Okay, so for today's ingredients, again, there are uh, lots of recipes you can find. You can search online and come up with a lot of great ones. Talk to your friends and family. They'll have some good chili recipes, maybe some handed down for generations. But the purpose of this program is, again, introducing people to the Dutch oven. And I want to show you a recipe that I found that is simple and easy to cook. Uh, so what I started with is two pounds of meat. I definitely like my sausage meat, so I just went with some regular sausage meat. Uh, on top of that, I've got, rather than mess with a whole bunch of different spices out there, they have these pre-made seasoning kits, so you don't have to make your own. And then I have two cans of these tomatoes and green chilies. So I got that as well. So I'm gonna cook the meat up. I'm gonna add in my seasoning and my vegetables. Once that's all going, I am gonna put in a nice layer of cheese on top of that and then I'm going to put on some biscuits on top of the cheese add some more cheese on top so I've got some cheesy biscuits with my chili uh, you could also do cornbread or a number of other items up there as well or just have the chili as is now I know there's a big discussion as far as beans in your chili or not I grew up with beans in my chili they're great but I decided for my first time making it myself, I'd cook it without the beans, actually really enjoyed it. So again, you can adapt this to what you like, but this is one of my easiest recipes I found that I'm gonna make today. Okay, so my Dutch oven's warming up. We're about to get the meat in there to start browning. Uh, one tool I forgot to tell you about, if you're gonna bring canned goods, it's always a good thing to make sure to bring a can opener. Or as a better, <laughs> as an outdoor school, or outdoor skill if you have a multi-use tool learn to use one of those little can openers that they come with uh, can be very handy for you but yeah just another uh, little tool to make sure you have with you when you cook all right so it looks like the meat's almost done so in just a moment i'm going to add the vegetables and seasoning to that and get that cooking okay chili's starting to look really good bubbling up a little bit so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to layer in a layer of cheese, put the biscuits on top of that, keep them from soaking into the chili too much, and then put a layer of cheese right on top of that. Okay, so we got cheese, biscuits, cheese. I'm gonna put the lid back on. We got charcoal sitting on top of here. So of course this get cooked from below. And all this is cooking from up top. So we're gonna follow the instru instructions on the can for the biscuits and let those cook. All right, we want to remember that to avoid any hot spots, as it's cooking, every few minutes, rotate the oven and rotate the lid, making sure we get an even cook there and no hot spots are forming. Just every few minutes, rotate. All right, so here we go. We're going to check it out. Woo! If a little crispier on top, maybe, but I worry about undercooked biscuits. So, there we go. Got cheesy biscuits. Got chili. Sit down. Whoops. Try this out.
Oh wow, that's good. All right. So there you go. You can look up a lot of recipes online, but this is a very simple one you can do. Had two pounds of meat, had two packets of seasoning, two cans of vegetables, cheese biscuits, cheese. Got a wonderful, very easy to cook chili recipe there that you can easily make at your campsite. So keep tuned for more recipes coming up, and I look forward to you hearing from you on uh, after you try this one. Y'all take care.